place in this match against the Blue Tiger. Because I've got news for each and every one of you tonight. It's not about TC Brown regaining his title. It's not about Mike Cash, and it's definitely not about Petey Crockett and his new administration. Tonight is about me, Thomas J. Curtis. Tonight, I fulfill my destiny and become your king of cash. Never at a loss for words, Thomas J. Curtis claiming he will become the king right here tonight on AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia. I am your host, Stick Witherspoons. And Thomas J. Curtis has drafted in his former network friend and current World Fighting Showcase British Heavyweight Champion, the legendary Lewis Blaine the Veteran, to take his place in the first round against light heavyweight sensation from Japan, Japan, Blue Tiger. And here he is, Blue Tiger, set to take on Lewis Blaine, who is replacing Thomas J. Curtis of the network in the first round of the Top Rope Wrestling World Fighting Showcase Britannia King of Catch Tournament. One fall in this one. Semi-final number one. AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia bringing you all three of the King of Catch matches. The annual King of Catch tournament has been right here in AWA, dating right back to the HW years, some 21 years now. Rolled through did the young light heavyweight sensation, Blue Tiger. Lewis Blaine, 35 plus years in the sport. Current British heavyweight champion. Often wrestles under the traditional British wrestling rules. Six three minute rounds and two falls, two submissions or a knockout, this one. Only one fall, 10 minute time limit. First round of the 2019 King of Catch Tournament. Straight in and takes the arm. Does Lewis Blaine of the Mass Blue Tiger. About five years now. Blue Tiger on and off has been here in the AWA promotion. Former light heavyweight champion. Former AIWF World Six Man Tag Team Champion as part of, as part of uh, Team International. Certainly got the crowd on his side. Strong wrist lock, nip up, and a kick. Two, three, right to the back of the knee. He's staying on it, and he's taking Lewis Blaine down to one knee, not something we see often. Lewis Blaine, a big guy, six foot six, 17 stone, six pounds. Not happy. Thomas Curtis isn't gonna let him walk off though. He knows how to play mind games, does Lewis Blaine as he gets back in the ring. Slows down the action. He doesn't want the younger, the faster, the fitter. Blue Tiger to take control back on that arm once again. Lewis Blaine stomps on it. Making full use of his entire body. Shades of that British wrestling right there as he waits for him to get back to his feet. Takes him right down to the canvas by the wrist. Great crowd on hand. This one coming to you from Stourport Civic Hall. Once again, nipped up and kicks to that leg once again. Right to the eye. Referee, the legendary Mr. X, saw that one. Wow, what a chop. Chops Blue Tiger down like a tree. Kicked on the canvas. Mr. X putting the count on. 
Blue Tiger has 10 seconds to get back up to at least one foot flat on the canvas. And a chop once again from Lewis Blaine. He knows how to lay those chops in. Referee Mr. X now distracted. And it's Thomas J. Curtis who technically should be wrestling in this contest. But he has drafted in Lewis Blaine to wrestle for him. He said a little earlier he didn't want to get hot and sweaty before the final. But that is if he reaches the final, Lewis Blaine has to get through Blue Tiger first. Still to come, the second semi-final between the very popular fox catcher and the evil wrestling clown Doink. The winner of this one will wrestle the winner of that one in the final. All within the next half hour, the hottest half hour in professional wrestling today, AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia. Proud affiliate of World Fighting Showcase, the Global Wrestling Federation, Top Rope Wrestling, the AIWF. To the ropes now. A neck with a big thrust to the throat. Back on the nerve hold, Lewis Blaine knows exactly how to dissect his opponent. Laying those forearms in now, right across the chest. Some across the side of the neck by the look of it from our angle. Of the young light heavyweight blue tiger. Mr. X keeping a close eye on things, the referee. Thomas J. Curtis watching on. Back up, putting his full weight is Lewis Blaine onto the neck of Blue Tiger. Big size difference between these two. Nigh on six stone difference between Lewis Blaine and Blue Tiger. Very nearly a foot in height. Also a lot of experience. But if Blue Tiger can keep it fast, like that when he ducks the clothesline, once again, catches, does Lewis Blaine, catches Blue Tiger, little bit too heavy for him. Just the two, Blue Tiger thought he had him right then. Very lucky was Blue Tiger to get Lewis Blaine off his feet with a great cross body that caught Lewis Blaine straight across the chest. But once again, Lewis Blaine with those mind games, slowing the action down. He doesn't want Blue Tiger to be the quick one. He's going to be way quicker than Blaine is. But Blaine attacks him. Blaine, been calling himself Mr. Wrestling of late. And you can see why he dissects his opponent's body, but also uses the referee for things like that as a distraction. And Thomas J. Curtis with a big fist to the side of the head. Chop once again. Shot to the back, huge forearm to the back. And some blue tiger-like kicks now from Lewis Blaine, who himself is not only a wrestling expert, but a martial artist in his youth. And of course, European champion, big right hand shot. Of course, he's known for the heart punch, so he knows. He knows a punch when he sees one. Big knee to the back. He really is taking Blue Tiger apart here in this matchup. But it's not just Blue Tiger. Sorry, it's not just Lewis Blaine that Blue Tiger is wrestling. It is also Thomas Curtis, who is taking two shots now. And there's the third. Choking and punching. Blue Tiger three times involved in this contest. Not even the manager of Lewis Blaine Lewis Blaine has just been drafted in to wrestle in this contest. Misses the knee. 
Does Lewis Blaine? Knees have been an issue for Blaine for a year or two now. Recently operated on. Tiger must know this. DDT's the, the leg, jarring that knee now. Lewis Blaine in all kinds of trouble. Step over toe hold. Will it be the figure four? It is. Not something we see often from Blue Tiger. He can't quite get it. He can't quite get it. He can't quite get it. But he's got a leg grapevine all the same. Mr. X wasn't happy. Big punch. Was it a low blow that time? From Blaine to Blue Tiger. Mr. X is kicking Thomas J. Curtis out. He believes that he moved the rope for Lewis Blaine. But a big kick to the chest. Blaine still on top of the action. Thomas J. Curtis. Or no Thomas J. Curtis. Involved in this match if Lewis Blaine wins. Thomas J. Curtis will have to wrestle in the final against either the Foxcatcher or Doink the Evil Clown. Chicken wing applied now to Blue Tiger. Submission hold. And that is it. Your winner by actual knockout meaning that Thomas J. Curtis advances to the final. The current World Fighting Showcase, British heavyweight champion, Lewis Blaine. Thomas J. Curtis is in the final. We'll be back after the break with the second semi-final and the final of the Top Rock Wrestling AWA King of Catch. Stay tuned. The second semi-final in the King of Catch tournament lasted just six seconds when the Fox Catcher defeated Doink the Clown. Means he advances to the final against Thomas J. Curtis.
It is AWA King of Catch final action, supported by Top Rope Wrestling, the Fox Catcher, who defeated Doink the Clown in just six seconds, takes on Thomas J. Curtis, who didn't even wrestle in the semi-final. He got uh, Lewis Blaine to do the dirty work for him against Blue Tiger a little earlier on in the program. Two guys that had very easy semi-final matches, but this won't be the same. This is one-on-one, -on -one, 15 minute time limit. Whoever wins this will be the king, or will it? Will we have another six second win from the fox catcher? Not quite. The roll up was kicked out. Thomas J. Curtis not happy with that. Doing a lot of pointing. Fox catcher looks like he might have hurt his shoulder a little bit on the big kick out. Swings the clothesline. Pulls the legs away as the fox catcher brings him center ring. Thomas J. Curtis in a lot of trouble now. Could we be seeing the fox trap maneuver? Look at this. TC Brown will be proud as the sharpshooter is applied from the fox catcher. On to TC Brown. This one could be a short match as well, but a distraction from Nick Flagg and a big chair shot from Dickie Bowen. No way. Thomas J. Curtis can't win the match like this. No, a three count. Thomas J. Curtis is the king. The king of catch 2019. Thomas J. Curtis, but he's done very little wrestling to get there. Lewis Blaine wrestled in the semi-final for him. Nick Flagg was the distraction. Dickie Bowen with a chair shot. Disgusting actions. Let's have a look right here at the crowning of the king. The two men that should be wearing that crown and cape are Nick Flagg and Dickie Bowen. And of course, Lewis Blaine that wrestled in the first round. Lewis wrestled in the first round. Nick Flagg was the distraction. Dickie Bowen with the chair shot to the fox catcher. The crown and the cape being put on the new king of catch. Thomas J. Curtis. King Curtis, as it says there on the screen. Lee Trotman. Lee Trotman with the microphone. All hail King Curtis, says King Thomas J. Curtis. Very happy with himself. We have a new king. Wow. Due to the speed of the King of Catch tournament matches, we're bringing you this standby match joined in progress. Nick Flagg, accompanied by Thomas J. Curtis, who at this point is not yet the king. And uh, Dickie Bowen taking on Lacey James one-on-one. -on -one. This one has been back and forth so far. Big posting from Nick Flagg to Lacey James. One fall, 10 minute time limit in this one. Referee Mr. X. This match was recorded before the final. So Thomas J. Curtis, who you can see there at ringside, had not yet wrestled in the uh, final of the King of Catch tournament. Pin attempt from Nick Flagg, but it's just the two. Lacey James back up in the corner now. Flagg. Goes for the post and once again, Irish whip in, boot. Big boot from Lacey James. Close line, down goes Nick Flagg. One more time. Two in a row now. Ducks the close line up, all the way over. And she takes Nick Flagg down. There to console him, Dickie Bowen and Thomas J. Curtis. No way. Going to the top rope, Lacey James. Is she going to dive on all three? She does. She takes all three down with a dive, dive, dive. Down goes Flag. Down goes Bowen. Down goes Thomas J. Curtis. Roll back into the ring is Nick Flag. Shoots the half and goes for the pin. Hooks the leg. Just the two. All action this one. 
Leg drop right across the chest. Go for the pin attempt. The basis of wrestling is to get the shoulders to the mat, and Lacey James is doing it. Every opportunity she gets. Front face lock now. Whoa. Distraction from Thomas J. Curtis. And it's an eat the sneaks from Nick Flagg. And the pin attempt leads Nick Flagg to the win. The legend slayer has slayed ladies wrestling legend Lacey James. But it was only because of Thomas J. Curtis. Wherever Thomas J. Curtis goes, there is controversy. Wherever Nick Flagg and Dickie Bowen goes, there is controversy. Wherever the network go, there is controversy. Distraction from Thomas J. Leads the Legend Slayer into slaying another legend. Thanks for joining us, World Fighting Showcase Britannia. We'll be back next week with world title action, Brown versus Cash. See you then.